We're back once again on the Alabama Football Report. I am Tom Downey, here to break down at least what for now is the 2023 recruiting class for Nick Saban and the Alabama Crimson Tide. There is a chance still that one other player ends up committing and signing, which we'll break down at the very end of today's video. But Saban has done it again. A consensus, undisputed, number one recruiting class for the Crimson Tide. They're number one in the 24-7 sports composite, just on 24-7 sports. ESPN, Rivals, On3, all of them rank Bama number one. And with good reason. This is a loaded class, not that far behind the historic class that a &M had last year that started the feud between Saban and Jimbo, and we know who won that one pretty clearly. 28 commits in total for Alabama. Nine five-stars, 18 four-stars, one three-star, which is a kicker that we'll get into at the end of today's show. And again, we are back, folks. Back-to-back -back days of the video. If you want more Alabama football videos, we need you guys to subscribe. Don't let me do Titans and Falcons with our NFL videos here. Let me do Crimson Tide stuff instead. Hit that sub button right now, all for free, here at Roll Tide TV. The top five recruiting classes, just by the way, before we break down the players individually. Alabama, number one, ahead of Georgia, Texas, Oklahoma, and Ohio State, which uh, you can put those th some of those five, and they'll pretty much be in the top ten every single year. But it's not that close between number one Georgia and or number two Georgia and number one Alabama. Crimson Tide led by the number two overall player in the nation, Keon Keeley, out of Tampa, Florida. He's the I guess one of the gems of this class. Caleb Downs. I will make note. Uh, 24-7 Sports recently changed their, their rankings, so the composite stuff, so there are some adjustments from maybe the last time you checked. Caleb Downs, number six overall. We're basing this on the 24-7 Sports rankings because they're the industry, industry standard. Caden Proctor, the Iowa flip from early national standard. He's number nine overall, another five-star. Justice Haynes, maybe the next great Alabama running back. Number 24 overall out of Georgia, the number two uh, running back and the number two player in the state. Uh, Downs is the number one player from Georgia, by the way. Desmond Ricks, Eli's brother, the four-star or five-star cornerback. Excuse me, I have a typo there. Five-star cornerback for Desmond Ricks, number 25 overall, the number two corner in the class. So grade the 2023 Alabama football recruiting class. It's got to be an A, right? I mean, maybe if you just want to go B for Bama, but like it's... Nine fights. It's loaded again. So I'm giving it an A. I think you guys will too, but I want to hear your answers in the comment section. Head down there, type in A, B, C, D, or F at the pinned comment to grade what Nick Saban did this recruiting cycle. More five stars. Out of Alabama, James Smith. He listed at 6'3", 310 defensive lineman. This is the number one player in the state of Alabama. Suck it, Auburn. Five-star edge, Yonze Pierre, who is one of the four players who have not yet uh, enrolled but have signed their letter of intent. Keeley's one of them, but, eh, you know, having 24 out of 4 or out of 28 enrolled already is pretty darn good. Yonze Pierre out of Alabama. He's the number two player in the state. Quay Russell. I'm a big believer in the good name or cool name means you're going to be a good football player. I think for an edge rusher, Quay Russell, that's an awesome name. He's number 34 overall, the number four player from the state of Alabama. And the last of the five stars out of Texas, Steve Sarkeesian in, in shambles, Jalen Hale, number 38 overall, the number sixth ranked wide receiver. All right, I want you guys to shout out your favorite player in the 2023 class. Who is it? Could be any player you want. I guess I'm going to go Quay Russell because it's an awesome name. Assuming I'm pronouncing it correctly, I'll probably butcher at least two names on today's show, unfortunately. But let me know who's your favorite recruit in this year's class. Let's get to the other five top 100 players because you guys can do math. There's a lot of them this year. Jaleel Hurley, who actually kind of slid down the rankings uh, a little bit. The number eight player from Alabama. Great size, 6'2". He's a cornerback. They need those. Jordan Renaud, the, the four-star defensive lineman, number 58 overall, number 10 player from Texas. Another running back, Richard Young. We'll see how a potential pairing of Young and Justice Haynes ends up working out together, but Young is from Florida, by the way. The first of two quarterbacks in this class, Eli Holstein or, Holstein or Stein, I'm not sure which one. Uh, out of Louisiana, number five player from that state, a top 100 quarterback recruit, the number eight quarterback. 
Wilkin Formby, which, man, if that doesn't say Alabama offensive lineman from Tuscaloosa, I don't know what else does, and I mean that in a positive way, to be clear. He's 6'7", by the way. Good Lord, built to play lineman. Number eight lineman, uh, or offensive tackle, I should say, in this year's class. Tony Mitchell is next up, the four-star safety, number 122 overall, also from Alabama, and a Georgia quarterback, Dylan Lonergan, number 159 overall, number 13 from Georgia and among quarterbacks this year. Originally from Finland, Olus Alinen, I think is how you pronounce that one. I'm sure I'm, that's wrong and we'll get corrected at some point there. Moved from Finland to Connecticut uh, before his junior season and is now playing football at Alabama Lewis is committed to. That's pretty cool. Uh, Malik Benson is next up here. That is the number one Juco recruit in this year's class at Hutchinson Community College. He's a receiver. Bama got number one and the number two Juco, which we'll get to in a little bit, but there's also Hunter Osborne at Alabama, number 178 overall. So will Alabama return to the college football playoff next year, or will the dr apparent drought continue? I'm probably going to go yes. It's Alabama. They always find a way, right? Get your votes in, or almost always do. Why for yes and for no in the comments section. Some more players here. Edric Hill out of uh, Kansas City, Missouri, by the way, number six player in that state. He's number 190 overall. Miles McVay, some more offensive line help. He's listed as a tackle. I could see him playing some guard, though, collegiately. He's the number three player out of Illinois in this year's class. Another Florida boy from Gainesville, deep in enemy territory, by the way. Jaron Hamilton, uh, number 35 receiver. Ty Lockwood, the four-star tight end from uh, Tennessee Independence High School. Number four player in the state of Tennessee. And the number one Mississippi recruit, that is Justin Jefferson, no, not that one, but it does fit my name theory. Pearl River Community College, he's a linebacker. Bama got number one and number two recruits from the JUCO ranks. Cole Adams, a four-star wide receiver now from Oklahoma, the number five player in that state, Sooners in shambles. Brayson Hubbard, the four-star athlete. We'll see exactly where he ends up playing. Uh, maybe next day we'll have some fun there. Number six player from uh, Mississippi. Probably mispronounced this name, so again, I apologize. Another interior offensive lineman, number 391 overall, Ryquez McEldry, the offensive lineman. And finally, last but certainly not least, the kicker, Connor Talty out of Illinois, the number three ranked kicker in this year's uh, college football recruiting cycle. One note before we go, this might not be the end of the Crimson Tide's recruiting class. Deuce Robinson, who is still one of the, uh, is frankly the best available unsigned, uncommitted recruit. He's a number 17 overall player, five-star tight end from Arizona, probably going to play football and baseball if he plays in college. There's a chance he could just be drafted the first round of the MLB draft and turn pro that route, which... Ah, you know, plenty of money to be made there. He remains uncommitted. Alabama is one of the teams in the mix there. Georgia, USC, Texas, Bama, Oregon was kind of in the mix there. Uh, two sports stand out. A lot of offers from, like, the best baseball schools, the best football schools, and all of those combined. So I don't, I don't think he goes to Alabama, but there is still a chance that ends up happening. Maybe he, he says he's going to take a little bit longer, doesn't know where he wants to go. So it's a wait and see from that standpoint for Deuce Robinson. The Bama class is just behind the A&M class from last year. Adding Deuce Robinson will make it even closer, slash it might be enough to put them over the edge. So we'll see what happens with Robinson. But overall, this is by far a fantastic class for the Crimson Tide. Number one in the nation again, right back where Nick Saban expects to be pretty much every single year. And if you want us to be back with more videos, please make sure you guys are subscribed. Great audience for our video yesterday. I really appreciate that. Thank you all so much. Hoping we can keep doing more for you here at Chat Sports. We plan on it. Hit that sub button right now.